Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage and thanks very much for joining me here today. I'm going to share with you 10 habits that I do to keep my body and my mind healthy throughout the year. So let's get into the first one being hydrating first thing when I wake up in the morning. I like to have warm water but just getting water into you is hugely beneficial. We're mildly dehydrated when we wake up in the morning and our body is over 70% water. So giving our body water first thing in the morning will really help to wake us up, wake the body up and rehydrate us after a night's sleep. The next habit I have is for my mind and is meditation. I like to do mantra meditation. But even if you sit down somewhere quiet and just focus on your breathing for 10 or 20 minutes, it can help keep you calm and relaxed. The next healthy habit is movement. Now, this is movement where your heart rate is increased for a prolonged period of time. So about five times a week, I will do 30 minutes of cardio doesn't have to be fancy there's loads of cardio sessions online they can be low impact if you prefer and as simple as jumping jacks moving your legs moving your arms it's great it increases your immune system it helps with circulation it helps increase the mood so it is great for your body and your mind and it also strengthens your heart The next healthy habit is that I reduce the amount of processed foods that I eat. So processed foods are any food that's altered during the preparation so that it makes it more convenient or has a longer shelf life or adds flavor. And the problem with processed food is it has a lot of hidden sugars, salt and fats. So it goes without saying when you're making your own food, you know exactly what is going into the recipes. and you're not eating anything hidden. You're just giving yourself good quality nutrition. And a bread is a really easy one to start with. I'll leave recipes down below. So easy to make, really quick. And once you get into the habit, you're able to whip it up in no time at all. Now they say for eating the rainbow is great. The one that I really focus on is getting those leafy greens because we don't actually eat enough leafy greens. So anything from kale, spinach, rocket, salads, pak choy, there's endless amounts of greens that we can have and these are great for our body. They're packed full of vitamins and minerals. They help reduce the risk of things like heart disease and diabetes. And it's very easy just to add these greens either in a smoothie or just freeze them and crumble them into your dinner. Or obviously wonderful salads. The next habit I do is intermittent fasting. Now I'll only do it for 13 hours. And so I won't eat till after about half eight in the morning, having fasted since the previous day at about 7 p.m. the latest. Some of the benefits of intermittent fasting are it can improve concentration, it can lower our cholesterol, it helps with sleep, it helps reduce inflammation, and it helps with our immunity. So I will leave all the benefits down below in some links for you to check them out. The next healthy habit I do is I eat the main meal at lunchtime. So it's from a practical point of view, you need more energy during the day. It's incredibly good for your digestion to eat your main meal at lunchtime. And so that you have then that fuel to feed you for the rest of the day. The next habit I do to keep my mind healthy is I reduce the amount of screen time I do or watching the news. That's something during this time that I have nearly completely eliminated. 
I found doing this has given me more calmness. I found I'm not as anxious. I don't have as much negative thoughts. And instead, just relax and read a book or do some crafts. Another healthy habit I love is drinking relaxing teas. I just think at this time, we can never be too calm. It is what they say, like a superpower. And teas are a great way of relaxing the body and mind without putting us to sleep. So things like lavender, chamomile, lemon balm. And then you can add things like mint as well with it. And it's just a wonderful flavor. It really helps to relax. It also helps because you're preparing the tea, you're slowing down, you're sitting down and you're drinking it and you just give yourself five or 10 minutes in the day to relax. And last but not least is I've reduced my intake of refined sugar. So this is any sugar that has been processed. You're gonna find these in any type of sweet things like bars or sweet cakes. So that white sugar, that's the one that I've really eliminated. Instead, when I'm baking, I will use things like coconut sugar or stevia or more natural sugar like maple syrup. But if you have things like berries and dates and apples, you'll find that they still satisfy that sweet tooth, but they're natural sugars instead of the processed sugars. And processed sugars cause a lot of inflammation and we want to reduce the amount of inflammation we have in the body if we want to keep the body healthy. So there are my 10 healthy habits for my body and my mind that I will do daily to keep myself healthy all year round. So I'd love to know your healthy habits. Talk to me as always down below or over on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a wonderful week. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video.